In this section, you will learn about the experimental setup. This virtual workshop is based on the PET workshop, which we offer to high school students in our education laboratories on site at CERN. We use the following experimental setup, which you can see now. It consists of a radioactive source, two scintillation detectors, two power supplies, a measurement interface with multi-channel analyzer, and a laptop with a measurement software. So, how does the experiment work? The radioactive source is sodium-22. The sodium atoms transform into neon atoms in an excited state while emitting a positron and an electron neutrino. The positron will then move a few millimeters before it will annihilate with a nearby electron and they can transform into two photons. Moreover, the neon atoms go from the excited state into the ground state by emitting a photon. The scintillation detectors in our setup will detect any high energetic photon. So how does this work? If a high energetic photon moves through a scintillator, visible light will be produced. This signal of visible light will be amplified inside a so-called photomultiplier and converted into an electrical signal. The size of this electrical signal is proportional to the energy of the initial high energetic photon. A photon with a really, really high energy will lead to a really, really high electrical signal. A photon with a smaller energy will lead to a smaller electrical signal. The scintillation detectors are connected to a measurement interface with multi-channel analyzer. In short, this is a device that sorts electrical signals according to their size into different channels. The number of the channel tells us how big the electrical signal was. This in turn tells us how big the energy of the photon was that moved through the scintillation detector. The measurement interface with multi-channel analyzer is connected to a laptop. Finally, we use a specific software to visualize the measurements of the scintillation detector. Now you are already familiar with the experimental setup. But what about safety? Which safety measures do we need to take during this workshop? First, we need to pay attention because the radiation from the radioactive sodium is ionizing and ionizing radiation can destroy the DNA in the cells of our body. Therefore, certain people need to be protected from ionizing radiation. For example, students younger than 16 and pregnant women. Second, we need to pay attention because the power supplies for the scintillation detectors provide high voltage. And finally, we need to pay attention because the equipment is fragile and expensive. But luckily, this is a virtual workshop in which you can even participate when you are under 16 or when you are pregnant. And you don't need to worry about high voltage or fragile equipment. Before continuing this workshop, please fill in the quiz about the experimental setup. Perfect! In the next section, you will learn how to use scintillation detectors to measure and interpret the energy spectrum of a radioactive source.